Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines, and today I want to talk about appropriation and influence in both visual art and music. The art of making a cover, if you will. The piece that I'm painting here is something that I was invited to make in 2022 for the online songwriting competition Spin Tunes. I started writing this script well over a year ago now and was quickly hamstrung by the rising use of AI in art. For a long time I actually thought that might be a good topic to talk about in relation to appropriation. But AI has moved so quickly and become such a minefield in the process that I just kept putting it off over and over and over again. It turns out that what I'm really interested in when it comes to art is the process. I mean, this shouldn't be a surprise to me as I'm primarily a printmaker and process is what we do. But for me, the tools that strip the time and the process away from art make it almost entirely uninteresting to me, no matter how beautiful the finished product looks. I'm interested in ideas and in the approaches people take to execute their ideas. So I finally decided to put the infiltration of AI in art aside and go back to where I started. During Spin Tunes, participants write and record an original song each round based on specific challenges handed out by the judges. The very last round of each Spin Tunes competition is a bonus week dedicated to making a cover of one of the songs written in a previous round. And my challenge for this particular Spin Tunes was to make cover art for the cover round based on one of the previous covers designed by Matt Shuby. This time around, the challenge from the previous round was to make a song that referenced the supernatural, and Matt had drawn a super cute cover for it with little ghosts floating out of a pipe organ. I'm of the opinion that cover songs should add something new to the song, so I wanted to approach making a cover of the cover art in the same way. I didn't want to just copy the art in a different medium, and as I was considering which cover to choose, I had this idea to reference The Treachery of Images by Renee Magritte in place of the pipe organ. Appropriation was really integral to Magritte's art practice, so referencing him made sense to me in making an album cover artwork about covering other people's music. Magritte used imagery from all sorts of places in the creation of his artwork. In fact, in a 1951 interview he said, I've got nothing to express. I simply search for images and I invent. I invent. Only the image counts, the inexplicable and mysterious image. Because all is mystery in our life. The works in the Treachery of Images series are also interesting thematically in this regard, because they're about imagery as a theme. The pipe isn't a pipe, it's a representation of a pipe. On this album, the songs aren't the songs, but interpretations of the songs. On the other hand, they're still the songs, just a different version. Appropriation is a complex topic for many, many, many reasons. Appropriation in music in particular is very common, and at the same time very misunderstood, particularly by people who don't play music. All music is built on other music that came before, and with music in particular, this has been extremely complicated by the mess that is modern copyright law. It's extremely rare to find music that is entirely new and original because the musician's toolbox is very small. And each genre has hallmarks in instrumentation and construction that should be at least referenced if you want your music to fit that genre. Because it's getting really difficult to actually make any money in the music industry at all, we're increasingly seeing writers claiming that other musicians used their ideas in a new song and that they should be added to the songwriting credits. Sometimes this is legitimate, especially in genres like rap and hip hop, which are built on the culture of sampling and interpolation. But a lot of the time it really just feels like an overreach and an abuse of power to make some quick money. I liked Elvis Costello's response to this a couple of years ago. When Olivia Rodrigo was incredibly successful with her debut album, Sour, there were many people trying to jump on the bandwagon and claim a writing credit. 
When people accused her of plagiarising Elvis Costello's song Pump It Up in the song Brutal, Costello responded, This is fine by me. It's how rock and roll works. You take the broken pieces of another thrill and make a brand new toy. That's what I did. All music is built on other music, whether it's in the structure of the chords or the feel of the song. Familiarity is, in part, why we're drawn to some pieces of music. If people have only ever made music or other types of art without reference to what has come before, the result would be chaos. That's not to say that everything should be copied wholesale without thought. We should always strive to be saying something new or asking new questions with our work. Only making work that we know people have liked before is not particularly interesting. Each project should be approached brand new, researching ideas and letting that research inform the artworks that you end up making. Appropriation in art can also be kind of dangerous, in that if you're not careful or thoughtful with your work, you can inappropriately take advantage of someone else's culture without due credit. It's not okay to copy the style of marginalised communities' art and pass it off as your own. There's a very fine line between taking inspiration from someone else and taking advantage of them for your own benefit. There's a really long history of colonising cultures taking the credit for the work of the communities that they are simultaneously marginalising, making money and gaining power at the expense of others. While we should always be taking inspiration from each other because that's one way we can grow, it's important to remember that we give credit where credit is due and to actively support and promote the work of the people that we're taking inspiration from. And that's where I think I'll end this video today. Keep having new ideas, keep asking questions, keep making good stuff. May the ghosts of art past always haunt our new work. Our brains and our bodies will always be making something more interesting than an AI trained on old work even though we're also trained on old work. This is not a pipe. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. Go to Bandcamp and listen to some spin tune songs. I'll try my hardest not to leave it another whole year before posting something new here on the Spines and Splines YouTube channel. 2023 has been a bit of a wild ride so far and I've been doing lots of cool things. So see you soon.